Good morning, everybody. It is 7 o'clock. Could it be a grey day for the PM? He's still waiting for that report from Sue Gray about Downing Street party allegations to drop into his inbox. It could come in the next few hours, and it could be grim reading. And we're just hearing within the last couple of seconds that number 10 telling us they still have not received Sue Gray's report. The police are investigating. Could he be the first Prime Minister to be interviewed under caution? The Foreign Secretary Liz Truss on the programme very shortly. We'll also speak to Labour's Bridget Phillipson and the SNP's Ian Blackford. It's Wednesday, the 26th of January. Good morning. The Prime Minister is waking up this morning to one of the most crucial days in his premiership. And the breaking news in the last minute, number 10 telling us they have still not received the Sue Gray report. Sue Gray's party gate report into whether lockdown rules were broken could, uh, though, drop into his inbox in the next couple of hours after police announced they're launching a criminal investigation into Downing Street gatherings. It's expected to be grim reading in parts. Big question this morning, can he survive? Let's take you through the key developments for today. I'm saying that Downing Street hasn't yet received the Sue Gray report. As we will see all of it. Previously, last week, I think Downing Street said that they would report, uh, publish the report in full. That's Parliament. Should he resign? 8th of December, if you'll just indulge us, we'll share this with our viewers. Here we go. I can understand how infuriating it must be to think that the people who have been setting the rules have not been following the rules, Mr Speaker, because I was also furious to see that clip. I have been repeatedly assured since these allegations emerged that there was no party and that and that no covid rules were broken if it's proven that he was at a party should he resign um the question is uh when i suppose let me ask you this do you think he should have told you before uh Cresta dick uh said yesterday just in case you missed it there was, there was evidence that those involved knew or ought to have known that what they were doing was an offense do you think she needs the Prime Minister? The Prime point Secretary. I'm making is I'm not following. We're talking about hypotheticals here, Kay. Well, we're not, are we? Because well, we, we've seen we, we quite absolutely a few... Are. Well, there's a police investigation now, and that's been triggered by the fact that photographs of the Prime Minister, where, where wine was near him, um, have been given to the police. We also know that he was in the Cabinet room. He would resign. Do you think that your uh, Prime Minister has the moral backbone to do the same? Speculate no, about... No, I'm, I'm absolutely not. All, absolutely not, Miss Truss. I'm absolutely not. All I'm saying to you, as Foreign Secretary, if your Prime Minister, the First Lord of the Treasury, is uh, likely to be questioned under caution, Tony Blair... Went that um, had sadly lost their lives. And then just a couple of weeks later, there was the event in that room, uh, which is uh, uh, several people, including <laughs> the interior designer, have told us that she was at that uh, event. Rishi Sunak was also there. Uh, does he have questions to answer? Minister, as I said yesterday, I can't believe that in the middle of a pandemic, uh, an interior designer came down three flights of stairs, went into another building, and then into the incredibly secure, having uh, beer and a butty uh, indoors when it was not allowed. This is a matter for the police. Mm -hmm. One of the great things about the URI are police officers said and he's suggesting that it should actually be president uh, the president president putin also have individual sanctions Do you, is that something that we would support we're not ruling anything out and we will be bringing forward new legislation to make our sanctions regime tougher so we were able to target more companies and individuals in russia We'll be including bringing, the president? We'll be bringing that forward in the next few days. I'm not ruling that out. OK. Um, I wondered if I could just bring you back to... Um, we're almost out of time, but I just wanted to bring you back to a, a, a situation that will concern lots of my viewers this morning, and that's a, a national insurance thing in the garden. And we've also seen evidence of the Prime Minister saying that he wasn't at events, that he quite clearly will be able to come back soon. Thank you it's very much. always a pleasure to have Great you on the programme. Thank okay. you very much indeed. Thank you. Quick look at how the papers are looking at events. Should he be personally sanctioned? That is a question for Joe Biden. He said uh, yes, as far as President Putin is concerned. Just putting that to the Foreign Secretary as well. Liz Truss here in the studio within the last few moments. She says uh, she's not ruling it out and we'll hear more within the next few days. Continuing coverage of what's happening in Ukraine here on the programme. Meantime, back at home, more than one in 20 children were off school last Thursday as the impact of the pandemic amongst the youngest at least shows no sign 
of abating. Released more details of studies into the prevalence of the virus looks a little bit uh, like this in the form of Milena, who's standing by at the Department of Health for us. Hi, Milena, what is it saying? From orbit after testing positive for COVID-19. Boris Johnson has committed British troops to Eastern Europe if Russia invades Ukraine, while the US is exploring sanctions on Vladimir Putin himself. With us now, a quick look at this lady. She's not quite as well known 